the high performance people, the, the kids that are on the Hall of Fame, my Hall of Fame, have four or five characteristics. I'm going to name just two or three of them. Number one, they give up social media unless they're selling on it. Number two, they work at a standing desk. Everybody understand a standing desk? Standing desk. Number three, they have a treadmill under the desk and they, it goes at four kilometers an hour. Four kilometers seems to be the maximum where you can still work and do a standing desk. Number four, they work out three to five times a week between 30 and 60 minutes a day. Not for six packs, not for four or seven or eight percent body fat, but just to be generally fit. And last but not least, they eat healthy. That means different things to different people. Doesn't mean vegan, doesn't mean vegetarian. Some just eat meat. But 90% of all my high performance kids do all those things I just mentioned. And they, the last thing or the sixth thing is they make all their employees, their family, their wife, their kids, their parents accountable. Mom, is this an important call? I'll talk to you over the weekend. Thanks, mom. Click. Dad, are you in the hospital with a heart attack? It's not, okay, I'll call you over the weekend. Click. Our children have to call with one of my four assistants to make an appointment with me to, make a, to get me on the phone. Bill Gates keeps his diary, his calendar, in six minute increments. Six minutes. So in an hour he has 10 meetings. Most people can't say hello in six minutes. Warren Buffett, I'm told, is in 10 minute increments, although I don't know that for a fact. I happen to know for a fact about Bill. Remember I said yesterday success leaves clues?